Croatian words that have a meaning in English. The Croatian language is very different from the English language. But even in that wide gap, there are some words that phonetically have a meaning in English. And I've made a list of these words and I've brought them to you in this video. So let's start. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Thank you again. Thank you for sharing and for all the love that I've received. I really appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, this is me, my channel. Um, my name is Arietza, Ari. I am from Mexico, my husband is Croatian and we moved to Croatia a year ago. And through these videos, I share with you what my life in Croatia is like. I've been in Croatia for a year now. I'm trying to learn the language, but it's hard. This language is very different, especially for people that speak English. There's not many words that are similar to, uh, to Croatian words. But I've developed a technique where if I hear a word that's that has some meaning in Spanish or in English, I memorize it so that it kind of gets me ahead or kind of helps me um, get better with my language. So I've created a list of 26 words that phonetically have a meaning in English. So let's start with the first one. The first one is put, put. But in Croatia, it means away. In English, it means to put some. Number two is pet. And pet in Croatia means five. But in English, pet is a pet or to pet. Number three is yosh. And yosh, it's like um, more. And people say yosh malo, like um, a little bit more. But yosh means, it's like a name in English. That's how I memorize it. Number four is chest. Chest in Croatia. Means chest five, means six, English, not five. Chest. Okay, the next one is a little bit different because it's not uh, pronounced like it is in English, but when when it's written, then you can see the similarity. So, okay, it's not phonetically, but you get what I'm trying to do here. The This one is more but it's, um, it's pronounced more, but when you see it written, it's more, M-O-R-E, more. So more means the C, but you know, in English it's more, and I have more. Number six is sports, number seven is auto, sports, sports, auto, out. Number eight is paradise. Paradise in Croatian means tomatoes, and in English paradise, Paradise. Number nine is trainer, and people say trainer, trainer, and trainer means trainer, like a coach. Okay, number ten is smirt, and to me, when they say it, it just sounds like smirt, like smart, like you're smart. But I don't know, maybe I'm pushing it. But smirt, um, smart, and. Smirt in Croatian means dead. Number 11, škola means school. Škola, school. Maybe I'm pushing it, but to me, it just, I can remember these words like that. Okay, number 12, I think I might be pushing it, but riva. Riva means uh, fish, but in English, it's that lady that sings and has her show, I can't remember, riva, right? Um, but yeah. So that's how I remember fish and riva with the lady. I mean, you take what you can get. You guys, it's very complicated. It's a very complex language. So you just gotta try from however you can. Number 13, Number 13 is sock. Sock in Croatian means juice, but sock like just one sock. So you can ask for some juice and you can remember now that juice is sock. Number 14 is copper. Copper, like copper, that's how I remember it, but copper is dill, the, the, the herb, the seasoning, dill, that's copper. Number 15, plant, and plant means plant. Number 16, it's pass, and pass, like, it doesn't mean like pass me something, pass means dog. So when they're talking about a pass, it's the dog. 
Number 17, it's Sir. Sir, it's spelled S-I-R, and it means cheese. And it, it doesn't quite sound as Sir, like um, Sir, ma Sir, Madam, but if you see it written, you kind of like, okay, Sir Cheese, like Mr. Cheese. Number 18 is awesome. Like if you were from Australia and you were saying awesome, 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 and awesome, it's eight. So maybe I'm pushing it a little bit, but I'm just trying to make sense of this whole thing and trying to share my knowledge with you, okay? But awesome. Number 19 is three. Three means the, the um, number three. And also in, in English, right? So three, three. Uh, chips are also pronounced chips, or you can also say chips. They just spell it differently. Number 19 is tanyur. Tanyur, it's a plate, but I just remember uh, with tenure. You know, when a person it teaches or something, um, and they have their tenure, the year's tenure or something. Um, so that's how I remember tanyur, like the plate. Like, actually, that's the only thing I remember from the whole set of plates and, and the whole china plates. Like, I, I can't remember how to say fork or knife or spoon. I can only say tanier for some reason. It's the little thing. Number 20 is star. And star means old. But star in English means the star. Number 21, it's dining. And I don't know, this might, yeah, I, I think I'm pushing it, but okay. This one, it's like dimey, like a dime. So I remember dimey, like when you're asking somebody to give you something, you say, dye me, um, I don't know, that, um, dye me shaja, like a cup. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's not making any sense, but maybe it is. So if it is, please let me know in the comments. And if it's not, just hang on, we're almost done. Number 22 is bok. And bok, can be like a box, like, hey, you have 10 bucks or you have one box, like that. But box means hello. So you say, hey, box. Hey, box. Yeah. Number 23 is restaurant. Restaurant. How do you say it here? Restaurant. And restaurant, restaurant. Number 24, it's love. I just realized what I did here and love means hunting, not lion. Number 25 is sat and sat means watch and in English it's like sat, I sat down, like I sat. And number 26 and this I'm going to need help of people because okay, if you're Croatian or if you're a native English speaker, let us know because Stefan and I cannot agree on this one. Cap in Croatian means drop. But Stefan says that when they say cap, they say like almost like cup, like a like a cup. But the way I hear it is like a cap. This is all for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for coming back to my channel. If you are and if you're new, thank you for being here. I appreciate you guys sharing and commenting and Please let me know if you have any more ideas of other videos that I can do because I would be happy to. I'm actually running out of ideas and so I need your help. <laughs> Thank you so much and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!